So we saw earlier how you can add images to your page simply by clicking on the media file and navigating to your files. There's this other option here that says image library. When you go to this, it gives you some default kind of collections that are interesting. However, there's no mechanism through which you can actually add these, at least not an obvious one, using this interface, which begs the question of why this interface is even here. So you can actually add and remove collections from here pretty easily. It gives you an icon to delete a slide or to add a slide. And basically, instead of slides, you're adding these collections. And you could add any folder you want. However, again, I'm not sure what the point of this window is. If we go back to the instructions, um, it talks about adding content to, to your image library. And basically, it has a fairly convoluted set of steps where you could add pictures to these library. And I guess in the long run, if you're doing a lot of graphics, it would make more sense to organize them. But as it is, you can easily get to any of your files on your computer just the way we did by adding media. So for now, I would encourage you not to worry about that button, that image library, because it doesn't serve a practical purpose unless you're dealing with huge numbers of collections of graphics. Now, if you wanted to get to those other graphics, you could simply go the way we did before. Look at where they're located and navigate to them. So I'm not going to spend any more time on that because at the moment I think uh, it's kind of a design defect that they need to work on.